Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The Vegas Strip mass stabbing suspect makes his first court appearance and bail is denied. That's as we learn more about the two victims who died. Maris DiGiovanni, age 30, and Brent Hallett, age 47, died Thursday. Here's DiGiovanni's older brother posting about her death on social media, writing, please pray for our family and her husband. We appreciate the space to grieve in the coming days and know she touched your lives as she did ours. Meanwhile, Review Journal's James Schaefer was in court this afternoon and brings us the suspect's possible motives. The suspect in the fatal Las Vegas strip stabbing that left two people dead was in court today. He walked into court wearing a jumpsuit and what appears to be hand restraints. 32-year-old Yanni Barrios appeared briefly in court facing six counts of attempted murder and two counts of murder. According to the arrest report, Barrios claimed people were making fun of him when he tried to take a photo with women dressed as showgirls. Before stabbing eight people too fatally, Barrios threw with a 12-inch knife into bushes on the sidewalk before being detained by Las Vegas Sand Security behind the Palazzo. District Attorney Steve Wolfson answered questions relating to the safety of being on the Las Vegas Strip. The uh, Strip is one of the safest tourist areas in America, believe it or not. With the thousands and thousands of visitors that we have each and every day. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Also in court, prosecutors claim Hell's Angels plan to retaliate against the witnesses of the highway shooting that injured multiple members of the rival motorcycle club Vagos. That quote, Hell's Angels members from multiple states will be traveling to Las Vegas to take care of witnesses in this very case. However, those allegations were not enough to prevent the judge from lowering bail for seven co-defendants from $250,000 to $100,000 on Thursday. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Here's how your Friday night is shaping out. Pleasantly warm in the 80s, which should cool nicely to the 70s in a few hours. Then 60s in the early morning hours with clear skies. Then you can look forward to the perfect weekend to soak up some vitamin D. Sunny skies with highs in the 90s and lows in the 60s. Your highs should dip into the 80s for your next work week with a small chance of rain toward the end of the week. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. We're about to give you a look at workers putting the final steel beam and concrete pour at the peak of Station Casino's Durango Casino and Resort. Scott Krieger, president of parent company Red Rock Resort, says this topping off ceremony is meant to highlight the progress of this $750 million project. We've got about a year more to go uh, as we continue to develop with an expected opening of October of next year. And for us, it's really a chance to recognize the 1,600 construction workers uh, that will be on the job site over the course of the next year. Here renderings of this 15-story hotel tower located on Durango Drive off the 215 Beltway, which will include restaurants, convention spaces, and 80 EV charging stations. And a Raiders linebacker has a rare Pokemon card worth, get this, $1 million. Blake Martinez was recently authenticated as the owner of one of the most famous cards in the world, Pokemon Illustrator, one of only four cards ever made. I've graded a lot of cards, but this one might be the creme de la creme. Seeing it in the blue label, CGC on it. Like, uh, couldn't have asked anything better. Martinez says he's been collecting Pokemon cards since he was six years old. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. The Raiders will have one more practice to log before they head out to Kansas City to face the Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. And the Raiders may be getting a pair of starters back. Wide receiver Hunter Renfro and linebacker Denzel Perryman both logged full practices on Friday. Denzel Perryman is working his way back after suffering a concussion in last week's win over the Broncos. Wide receiver Hunter Renfro, who has missed the last two games due to a concussion, looks like he is designated to return for Monday Night Football. 
and entertainment sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed. If you're looking for some entertainment this weekend, we've compiled the list of everything from music, festival, and sports. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has your top 10. It's the longest wait for regular season NHL action Las Vegas has seen. The Golden Knights home opener will welcome fans to T-Mobile Arena at 7 p.m. October 13th. The annual Las Vegas Pride Night Parade kicks off this weekend. The parade, which starts at 7 p.m. tonight, will run along 4th from Gas Avenue to Ogden Avenue. The celebration will continue all day Saturday from noon to 11 p.m. And the annual Rise Las Vegas Festival returns Friday and Saturday. Again, expect to draw tens of thousands of revelers who send lanterns marked with messages of hope floating into the night sky. For more information and tickets, head over to risefestival.com. And also, here's a way to eat your way through Italy at Park MGM. The Harvest Festa runs from 1 to 4 p.m. Saturday at the Food Hall with unlimited event sips, bites, and tastings. Go to eataly.com. And for concerts from some notable legends and other festivals and Pride Weekend specials, log on to LVRJ.com. Sports brought to you by Dandar House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. UNLV football is back in action tonight as the Rebels are on the road to face the San Jose State Spartans. The Rebels are 4-1 and 2-0 and in Mountain West play. A win against the 3-1 Spartans could give the Rebels a huge boost as they look to hold on to first place in the West Division. Much of the Rebels' success stems from the play of sophomore quarterback Doug Brofield. Brofield and the Rebel offense are averaging over 37 points per game, and they will be tasked with trying to break through a tough San Jose State defense that has held opponents to just 15.5 points per game. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. In a matchup of 3 and one teams, the Giants and Packers will square off in London at 6.30 a.m. Sunday. Green Bay is an 8-point favorite over New York at the Westgate Superbook and the total is 40 and a half. In other NFL action, the Philadelphia Eagles are 5 and a half point favorites at the Arizona Cardinals. The Buffalo Bills are favored over Pittsburgh by 14. And the Dallas Cowboys are 5 and a half point underdogs at the Los Angeles Rams. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Take a look at UNLV med students joining Governor Sisolak earlier this week for the opening celebration of the Kirk Kikorian School of Medicine in Vegas, the UNLV med school's first permanent facility. The students will start using the new building during spring semester. And for parents, how can you steer your picky eaters toward healthy snacks? Cornell University researchers report most youngsters eating too many empty calories from salt, fat, and sugar. Needing more fruits and veggies along with protein, iron, calcium, vitamin D, and zinc. For picky eaters, experts recommend baked versions of fried foods, whole grain crackers, dried fruit, and yogurt. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you on Monday for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.